Hey guys, I thought I'd make a little video here and show you something that I'm playing with that's kind of fun. Um, if you've noticed, the Mini Moog uh, Model D is now available as a free download on an iOS device, which is pretty neat. It actually sounds really good, and it's got all the original controls. It's a lot of fun to play with. You can download an iPad, which is a little bit easier to manage, just getting your fingers around everything. Uh, but the iPhone works just fine as well. So I could play it from here. It still sounds pretty good, but it's coming through my phone speakers. Yeah, I could plug in some earbuds or I could put an adapter in there and play it through my studio speakers. That would sound a lot better, but I'm still just playing it from the keyboard on here. Next step up, which would be a little bit cumbersome, but we could do is get a, an, a USB interface that has MIDI and audio, and we could connect it in with a, with a uh, I think they call it the camera adapter that takes from lightning to USB, and we'd be able to control from a, a hardware MIDI con a keyboard controller or any kind of MIDI controller, and then take the audio out that way. But Apple's actually built a pretty neat thing right into the operating system for doing this really with any DAW, although as you might expect, it's really simple to do with Logic since uh, Logic is an Apple product. So let me show you how that works. I'm going to switch over to the screen here now. So the first thing I want to do is I want to open up my audio MIDI setup. And in here, there's a couple things that I need to do. I've got a map of my MIDI studio, and I've got all of the different uh, hardware and sort of virtual interface devices configured. If one or both of these windows are not showing, just go up under Window, and you'll have Audio Devices and MIDI Studio that you can choose up there. You'll notice here that while my phone is connected with just a regular old uh, charging cable lightning to USB into my computer, the phone, or the same would be true with an iPad, shows up as an available device. So I can just click Enable right here, and it's going to hook that up. It may open your photos and all those kinds of things because it sees the uh, iPhone or iPad as being remounted, so I'll just get rid of that. Uh, and then over here on the MIDI studio, what you'll notice is it's added a MIDI instrument, which is my phone. And you can see that I've done this before through Bluetooth, and yeah, we can actually send MIDI data over Bluetooth. We can also do it over Wi-Fi, uh, and I've done the, the Bluetooth uh, specifically with the, uh, with the iPad not too long ago, so that's why that's there. But here's the iPhone. So I can... Uh, put these aside for right now, and I'm going to go over to Logic, and I'm going to create a new instrument. So uh, I am going to choose the empty instrument and say, do I want to use the audio interface for the phone? Um, let's see, you can change the device later, the, the, the devices. Yeah, sure, let's use it. Okay, so right now what I need to do is treat uh, the phone as though it's an external MIDI instrument. So I need to send MIDI to it and I need to get audio back from it. The equivalent of an instrument track in Pro Tools is this external MIDI when you use external instrument plugins. So I want to set up for both of those things. Uh, the output can be stereo. I believe there's some effects that we can uh, uh, run through on the instrument, although I haven't dug into that closely, but I'll do stereo for now. And then my MIDI destination is going to have all of my instruments in the studio, all of my MIDI interface ports, uh, as well as da, 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 my iPhone. And like you would expect with MIDI, it's got 16 channels. Um, I'm guessing that the Model D is set up as, uh, as channel 1 by default, but I'm going to do all because it's not multi terminal It's not going to be a problem if I send the MIDI data all the channels at one time. So I've got my input set here. And it's showing that my, my audio device for the input is the iPhone. My output is my universal audio, which is what's connected to the speakers here. So when I hit Create, it brings up an instrument. It's a generic instrument. And when I go back to the phone and pick it up here and play it, not very interesting because it's hard to play the... Uh, the little keyboard on the phone, but uh, the sound is a whole lot better because it's coming through my speakers in the studio and it's going through Logic. All right, so now if I go under Logic and play my MIDI keyboard, I don't get anything. So there's still one connection, there's still one step that we have to do in order to get the iPhone to see MIDI data coming out of Logic. So I may take some screenshots for you after to make this a little bit easier, but in the top right hand corner of the instrument, there's a little gear icon. And when I go in there and choose MIDI, 
I can see that one of my input and output devices is called IDAM MIDI host. IDAM MIDI host. I can get better at this for online teaching, right? So now when I close out of that and I come back over to the MIDI keyboard in front of me, I can send the audio directly from Logic and then back into, uh, sorry, I can send the MIDI data from Logic into the phone. It's generating the sound in the, the Moog emulation and it's bringing that back in as audio into Logic. So I could record the MIDI data, I can capture the audio, all that kind of fun stuff. And although it's, again, it's a little hard to, manage on the phone, uh, but not impossible uh, to make adjustments to any of the knobs and switches that are, are on the Model D. The iPad is great. It's a lot easier for doing these things. But if I, for example, um, hold down a, a note on, um, on my MIDI keyboard here and then make some adjustments on the phone, you'll, you'll hear it in real time. <laughs> So that's how you do it. It's very simple to set up. It's a lot of fun. You can do this with Pro Tools as well, but in the aggregate I.O., you need to set up, sorry, in the, in the audio MIDI setup, you need to set up an aggregate I.O. device, um, one of which uh, has a source from the iPhone or that you're, you're sending into the iPhone so that you're getting that audio uh, back from there. Um, and if you know how to configure this, it's actually quite simple to get the iPhone as one of the um, one of the sources of audio that's coming into your Pro Tools session. So uh, maybe if I get a chance, I'll make a video on that, but it's pretty simple to figure out. All right, hope you have fun with it. There's a bunch of instruments out there. Uh, some of them are free, some of them are a few dollars. Um, uh, the ARP uh, Odyssey is really nice. I've got that on the iPad as well, and it sounds terrific through the speakers here. Um, but there's a whole bunch of um, whole bunch of instruments you can pick from and have some fun with.